Hello kids, how are you? Welcome to a new class. Are you okay? Good. Now, let me pray for you and for your family. Yes, uh, close your eyes please. Dear God, I want to thank you for the day, the health and the food. Bless us and stay with us. Amen. Querido Padre, en el nombre de Jesús, te quiero agradecer por la vida de cada uno de mis alumnos. Te pido que los protejas, que cuides a sus familias. En el poderoso nombre de Jesús. Amen. Ok, kids. Good. I'm going to explain you, yes, the, the activities that you have to do this week. Uh, do you remember that last class I taught you one of the health habits? What was it? This one. Wash your hands. Yes. Remember that wash your hands is very important uh, that you do this health uh, habit because when you wash your hands several times during the day, you are fighting, yes, against uh, some health problems such as coronavirus, yes. Es muy importante que ustedes se laven las manos, como ya les había dicho, eh, porque cuando ustedes se lavan las manos, ayudan a que no haya gérmenes en sus manos y eh, ayudan a combatir eh, enfermedades como, por ejemplo, coronavirus. Yes? Ok. So, eh, as first activity, yes, you have to do a poster. Yes? It's a poster related to... Um, to uh, to coronavirus, yes. In this post, in this poster, you have to draw and you have to write some um, sentences uh, as prevention, yes. Um, en este poster ustedes van a dibujar, van a escribir oraciones como un tipo de prevención, yes. Good. Next. Uh, we have to start working on a new unit. Yes, it's unit number two from the book Tiger Time 3. Yes, never mind if you don't have the book because on the platform I'm going to share you the, the, the pictures of the pages. Yes, so never mind if you don't have a book. Yes, um, because on the platform you have to... You have to see uh, the pictures of the pages, yes? Uh, all the information. So don't worry about that, yes? And uh, so as a title, you have to write, yes, unit two, animal work. Yes? This unit is about uh, animals and the part of the animal's body, yes? Uh, you know the most common uh, vocabulary of the body parts. For example, head, nose, ears, eyes, yes? But the animals uh, have, have got uh, other parts, yes? For example, here you have uh, a lion, yes? And the lion has got a teeth. In the next picture... You have a rabbit, and it has got fur. The next picture, you have a parrot, and the parrot has got feathers, feathers. The next picture, you have an eagle, and, and it has got a beak, beak. In the next picture, you have a monkey, and it has got a tail. Tail. In the next picture, you have a seal, and it has got whiskers, whiskers. In the next picture, you have a fish, and it has got scales, scales. In the next picture, you have a turtle. It has got a shell, shell. So. They uh, all this vocabulary, yes, I relate it to the uh, animals' body parts. Yes, okay. So I'm going to explain you uh, the other activities that you have to do. Yes, 
In activity number number one, as said before, is a poster. Yes, uh, about the wash your hands. Okay. Uh, in number two, yes, you have to listen to a song. Yes, it's related to the new unit. Yes, so you have to listen to the song. In number three, yes, you have to pay attention and you have to say what parts of the animal's body can you see. Yes, and in activity number four, you have to look up the meaning of the words. Yes, in activity number five, you have to draw the parts uh, of the animals that appear in the song and you have to write the names. Yes, um, for example, you have to draw a tail and under the tail you have to write tail, the name. Yes? Okay. And in number six, you have to enter uh, it, uh, you have to enter in the in in one link, um, and this link is related to a game. Yes, uh, in this game you have to uh, look up uh, the pictures. Yes, and you have to click on the volume sign and listen to the words and repeat the words. Yes, okay, so. Lo que les decía, que lo, las actividades que ustedes van a hacer, yes, como por ejemplo la actividad número uno es hacer el póster. La actividad número dos es escuchar una canción yes, relacionada con la unidad dos, la nueva unidad que vamos a empezar a ver. En la, en la, en la actividad número tres, ustedes tienen que, eh, que, tienen que mencionar las partes del cuerpo ¿sí? que aparecen en la canción, mencionarlas. ¿Sí? Después, en la, en la actividad número 4, número tienen que otra vez escuchar la canción ¿sí? y escribir las palabras que ustedes no conocen y buscarlas en el diccionario, en el traductor de Google. ¿Yes? La actividad número 5, tienen que dibujar las partes de los animales que aparecen y abajo de cada, de cada dibujo le escriben el nombre. ¿Sí? Ok, por ejemplo, no sé, ustedes dibujan eh, la cola. Entonces abajo van a escribir tail, como digo, cola en inglés. ¿Yes? And eh, in number six, en el número 6, ustedes van a entrar en un link eh, y ese link los va a llevar a ustedes a una página en donde van a mirar las figuras, ¿sí? Tienen que mirar las figuras que son con las partes de, del cuerpo de los animales. Y... Eh, van a hacer clic en el icono de que de, del volumen y ahí ustedes van a poder escuchar eh, la palabra. La idea es que ustedes la escuchen y la repitan. Yes? Ok. All this information, uh, you, you, if you have doubt, you can check all this information on the platform. Uh, of course, if you have doubt, you... you you can contact me or you can send me a message uh, in my, my cell phone, yes. Uh, obviamente que cualquier, cosa, cualquier duda que tengan está todo en, plata, en la plataforma, me pueden escribir, me pueden mandar un mensaje a mi celular, saben que estoy a su entera disposición. Ok, see you next class, bye bye, God bless you.